Ian, a win here today. Another uh, good set of minutes for the lads. How are you feeling directly after that one? I was quite pleased. I was just pleased with the intensity of the game. And obviously, I want to thank Dean Brennan and Barnet Football Club for, for coming here today and, and giving us a good test. And as I say, you'll only, you'll only find out as the season goes on where each team's going to finish. Um, I was disappointed to go behind first half, um, but I felt second half we came out and we made some changes. And I see a bit of a reaction today, which is good. I felt, I felt Tuesday night was really poor. Um, but today there was a better reaction, and uh, I thought the performance was a good performance. Um, important, as you say, to see uh, see your team come from behind, stick in the game, really fight back to get back in it, and important to get Sean off the mark. How how much do you think it affects a striker um, when they haven't scored scored for a while, and then they do get one, and then two going into the season? Is that what you want? Yeah, without a shadow of doubt. And this is what I've played. You know, I've played Sean for, for 90 minutes today um, because he needed to get goals. Any any striker needs goals. Um, Sean's one of them. Doesn't let it affect him though, um, and that's why I don't really have to. Have to get round him and talk to him about it. He's one of them. He knows we're going to get opportunities and he's going to get chances. Eventually, he's going to start taking them. Um, and, and the first one he got was just a nice, easy side foot, and the second one was a great header. He's obviously had one or two chances before then, and the uh, kick was made a good save from one. But you know, I felt it was the, the Sean of old today in terms of some of the movement and some of his reaction was really good. And uh, that only comes through playing games as well. And uh, as I say, that all comes through because people are getting back up to the minutes. So they're actually getting some sharpness back in their legs. And uh, I felt that on Thursday night, the training session. That still doesn't make up for me. I felt Tuesday night just wasn't to the level that I expected from us, the St Albans team. Um, you shared the minutes around quite evenly across pre-season. Everyone's seen a bit of the action. Um, do you think we'll see any more new faces join up before the start of the season? I, I don't know. We just, they're just one or two areas we are slightly weak. And uh, you know, that, that's an area I've got to make sure that we... We made sure we're in strength there. I mean, the one thing we did this year is that we made sure we had an abundance of midfield players. And you know, Menashe has picked up a bit of a calf strain today, probably 10 days, they're saying, to two weeks. So, but we've got great cover there. That you know, Ches came on the pitch and just slowly straightened as if he'd been here all season. We've got Kyron, obviously, and we've got Hugh Dawson, we've got David Noble. So we've got a number of bodies that can play in midfield. Where last year we were really short in that area. Um, we, we need another set and a half. We've only got three at the moment. We need a fourth, and we need some cover in the in the left back area at the moment. We've only got Alex. Uh, I know Tafari can play there. Uh, but a bonus for me at the moment is obviously Devontae Stanley's come back a lot quicker than I expected. I thought he'd probably be another six, eight, ten weeks away, and, and already he's shown that you know, there's, a, there's a tenacity about his performance. He's come on leaps and bounds in the, in the two, four weeks of pre season, and you know, he's in contention now going into next week in terms of where we are. One more to go. It's against an Arsenal 11. It's definitely the one the fans are probably most excited about. How are you feeling going into that one? Obviously, we've just won a game against Barnet, which is really pleasing. I'm not sure in terms of their strengths and weaknesses where they were today. Obviously, they're going into an important season next season. So, really pleased. Really pleased in terms of where we are. Monday, for me, it's, 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 it's a bonus. It's, a, it's a, an exhibition game in terms of where we are. I will switch it around and spin it around and, and give everyone an opportunity. But I hope the crowd turn up. You know, Arsenal... You know, they've seen some of the sides they've been putting out. They've got players that they might put out there on Monday, just give them some more games. And to do that, I think I'm sure we can get a bumper crowd in here, which would be great for the start of the season and obviously give everyone a chance and to see some of the, the potential and existing Arsenal players that you know could be superstars in the future. Regardless of what team is played by Arsenal, it will be a good, good test uh, for the lads. Going into a game like that against uh, you know, higher profile opposition, should we say, do you think that has an effect on the players or is it just another game? No, I think it helps us. I think it helps us, and that's not being disrespectful to King Langley or Hendon or teams like that. But I thought the performance at Hendon was good. I felt like we didn't raise our game at King Langley, and that's not being disrespectful to them. But when you do come up against your Stevenages and your Barnets and your Arsenals, everyone wants to play in them games, and, and the intensity is there. And I didn't quite get the intensity against King Langley on Tuesday night. And players, I've told them before the game, I've told them at half time, you know, we, we want to win games of football, and the only way you do that is to play to a level every single week.